Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Comprehensive Armor 3 story playthrough. Last time we did play the prologue that takes place one year before the main campaign. We learned who the Aldous Armed Forces are, and we learned that their relationship to the NATO peacekeeping forces on the island is um, strained at best. Today I want to play the first mission of the Beyond Hope mini-campaign. This campaign takes place a few years before the main campaign and it takes us back to the early days of the civil war between the Altus Armed Forces and the FIA independence fighters. So let's go into that and see how this whole mess on the island actually started. Altus 2026. A military coup has toppled the government in Kavala. Opposition groups are crushed and peaceful protests end in violence. Support for the army wanes. Hundreds of soldiers disobey their orders and join the people, sparking civil war. Cities, towns and villages are ravaged by the brutal fighting. A six-day ceasefire is agreed, so humanitarian aid can reach those worst affected. But neither side intends to honor the terms. Beyond Hope No, the ceasefire is over. He's got a point. Spartans should have checked in already. You heard those shots. Sounded like a firefight to me. How do you know, Panos? georgia has been late before, and the rebels... I mean, maybe they are just showing a militia how to shoot straight. In this fog? Unlikely. Okay. Nobody asked you, Sergeant. We're not your island anymore. That's enough. Squad leaders, this is how it's going to go. Spartan group had failed to report, and there's been some gunfire near here. Point Lambda. Basically, this area. As you can see, it's right on their patrol route. Of course, we haven't seen shit for days. The weather has us blind, and there is good chance Akantaros' rebels are taking advantage of that fact. I would say they have already made a play for Arino, effectively putting our forces on the back foot. The town's half empty and could have fallen without anybody knowing about it. Truth is, we can't risk waiting. We must take the initiative. Now, Mavros, he's volunteered to lead our reconnaissance team, Chimera. They will locate our lost squad and ID enemy positions and armor before a full-scale offensive. Yes, we're staging an attack. First, however, we must soften their defenses by calling in a rocket strike. Some of you may know Color Sergeant James. His group, Callsign Falcon, have a provider on standby. Their involvement will not be the subject of any discussion. Once everything's set, Hoplite and Centaur will advance on Arena from the south and west. Chimera will then swoop in from the west. As soon as we capture the town, we may need to defend against quick reaction forces, here and maybe here from the north. So, be prepared. Any questions? No? Then gear up. Let's get this done. So, we just received a comprehensive briefing for this mission, which I think is amazing. And this mission will show one aspect of armor that really sets it, up, sets it apart from other games. The... Um, quite open approach to how you are going to conduct an operation. Yes, we have a mission objective and we have a mission target, but how we assault the town in the end will be entirely up to us. Let's have a quick look at the tasks here. Our main task is reconnaissance. We are to gather as much information as possible, pinpoint enemy positions and armored vehicles. We need to know what's where in order to make informed decisions in the field. 
And our main task, our other main task basically is find the lost squad. One of our patrols has failed to report in. We are to follow the original route and find out what happened. Starting from waypoint Yota here, to waypoint Kappa, waypoint Lambda, then Mu, then Nu, and finally Ordino. Somewhere along the way we should find out what happened to them. If we look at the situation report here, then it says a little while ago we heard gunfire and lost contact with Spartan. It seems the rebels may have entered the town using the focus cover. They've broken the ceasefire, therefore we must retaliate immediately. What we refer to here as rebels are the Altus Armed Forces basically, or what will later become the Altus Armed Forces. They have taken control of the government and we are in essence freedom fighters uh, fighting to restore the old democratic government. Okay, let's continue here. Our mission, our primary objective is to capture Orino. If we incur heavy casualties, we will fall back to our position here. So that's good to know, there is a backup plan in place. We are to fall back to Agios Dionysios if the situation goes south. How will we do all that? Our first task of force is to find Spartan. Then we will conduct reconnaissance with our squad and identify armor and defenses. We are to designate targets and, de and transmit the coordinates for artillery. On impact, we will commence the assault. Alternatively, I can give the signal for the offensive personally. And then we are to hold Orino no matter what. Good. Uh, supports. For this mission, our British friends have offered clandestine fire support. But remember, we can't expect too much. They have a small window of opportunity and a limited number of rounds. We can only call on them once and select a maximum of three locations. That's very important to know. So try and mark coordinates accurately. And here are some images of the rebel forces so that we know how they look like. The bad thing in the civil war is that they do not look much different from us. So keeping apart friend from foe once we uh, go into the town, that will be a challenge. And here we have a quick overview of the units involved in the operation. We have Hoplite, an ambush element, Spartan, the lost squad, Centaur, the mechanized infantry, Chimera, this is our team, Olympus, the command, and Falcon, the British operatives. So, let's go ahead with the mission. Mavros, you team's outside. It's slim pickings, but there's gear and weapons upstairs. Go ahead and take what you need. But hurry it up, clock sticking. Okay, let's do that. There might be something nice up there. Hi guys. You are not looking too fine. Ah, oh, this looks but like a weapon up. storage. Yeah, 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 I know. Let's see. Oh, they... Oh, I would like an AK. But my rifle does have an underbarrel grenade launcher and I like that one even more more. So I think I'm gonna stick to that thing for now. These AKs don't have an underbarrel grenade launcher. Apart from that, I, I don't really need anything, I think. Let me just check something. Uh, maybe more ammunition wouldn't hurt. Yeah, there are some more grenades that we can take and a few more magazines. Let's do that. Okay, let's just go. Carlos, how's the Gorgon working out for you? Yeah, finish them repairs. But those tires you shut out, it's not easy to replace them. Huh. Well, I'll tell you what, next time you want a 22 ton killing machine, go and ask someone else. Mr. James? I don't think so. We've got the first one for you. Hmm. They're talking about the APC out there. Oh, what's that? Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Come into my hands. Okay, let's uh, dump all those magazines that I just took, because I didn't need them anymore. Uh, do these grenades go in this rifle? Yes, they do. Nice. Do we have more ammunition in here? Oh, yeah. A few magazines. A few more grenades. Very awesome. Now we are talking. I like that. Although... 
What I don't like is the iron side, so let's run back up the stairs again and check if we can take a different side for this rifle. There were some sides in this crate that I could take. Oh, Leupold is always... But I think... I think I will actually take this kind of side for today. I kind of like it and I hope we don't have to fight over long ranges. Good. Nah, mate. It ain't about that. Our government's got a lot of vested interests. If that colonel and his army remain in power, it ain't gonna be business as usual, you know? Hmm. Okay, so the Brits are here for a reason. You guys are just standing here. Oh, yeah, hi. But they are bringing in the guns. Let me take that. They and are then anybody got proper weapons? Not hand me down shit thin on his life from fuck knows where. Ah, uh, CTRG have to keep their distance, Demos. You know they can't commit. And this over here is my team that's waiting for me. Hi, guys. You trust this new guy? He was in the army. Argiris knows him. Hmm. By the way, does anybody of you speak Greek? Can somebody translate this? That would be amazing. Let me know in the comments if somebody can actually translate what is written here on the APC. And I think we are now going to get into the car and start a mission. Better make a move, lads. It's getting light. If you come across Spartan, call it in. We'll organize extraction. Got it. Okay. Olympus Chimera. The Brits are in position and we are proceeding on task. Over. All right, Chimera. Identify defenses and armor. All call signs and artillery support are waiting on your mark. Copy that, Olympus. See you on the other side. Out. Let's go this way. Okay, keep it quiet. This fog gives us an advantage. But it won't help us much if we get into trouble. Yeah, that's right. I'll tell my men to hold fire and to stay behind me in a staggered column formation. That will help. Because here's the thing, if um, if my enemies are not on hold fire and they see an enemy, if my enemies, I mean if my men are not on hold fire and they see an enemy, they will immediately start blasting away at him and that would of course give away our position. I'd rather try to maybe set up an ambush. You know how much I love to set up ambushes. Man, look at this. Arma 3 has an amazing fox system. It really does. When you are designing a mission in a mission editor, you can play around with the fog parameters. And you can set the fog up in such a way that it is very dense in the lower regions. And the higher you go, the thinner it gets. And this creates this really amazing effect where the fog will pool in the valleys and the top of the hills will stick out of it. Just like now. It really does look great. For such an old game, armor does look really, really good still. So, this is the first waypoint here. 015. Okay. We have already spotted enemies. Be careful, guys. I'll take a look inside here. Okay. You seen any rebels, old man? No. Close the door on your way out. Yeah, okay. So, Spartan is not here. We'll have to continue on our way. But we have spotted apparently some enemies ahead. Where exactly? Ready to fire. Ready to fire. I can't see them right now. Target in sight. Ready to fire. Quick look on the map. Okay, they are more or less here in this direction. Yeah, they are moving down there. Okay. You might be asking yourself right now, hey, wait, aren't you trying to play armor as realistically as possible? Then why are you moving map, uh, why are you using map contacts? I think that in the context of single player, 
having the map contacts enabled actually adds to the realism and immersion. Because in real life, if I can't spot the enemy that my men have spotted, I could simply turn around to them and go like, hey, where have you seen that guy? And they would point at him, they would explain the location to me. You know, there would be a conversation until I know where the enemy is. And I can't have this conversation with an uh, AI dude in this game. It's not possible. So the map contacts are the next best thing. Having the map contacts enabled is therefore, in my opinion, more realistic. Even though it sounds really weird to say so. What's that? There's a busted vehicle, okay. Why is there a busted vehicle? Let's let's move up a little bit. And then we'll take a good look around. I wanna know what's going on. Oh, look at that. Flashlights. There's the patrol. They're moving away from us, good. But that seems to be another one. However, they too are moving away, okay. Vehicle. What's good? Right. Bodies? I mean, that's a rucksack. Bodies, oh shoot. That could be Spartan, damn it. Okay, so I will have to... Yeah, more bodies. I will have to check this little stand of trees up there on this little hill. Okay, I'll do that. Wait, what's that? Uh, that's a machine gun. Mm, there you are. We have enemy to the east! That's an enemy stronghold. Good. That's an enemy patrol moving. Ready to fire. Uh, kind of moving away. Soldier. More enemies over there. Shit. The area is heavily patrolled. That's not good. I've got the visual. Oh. Half a click. Gotcha. Another strong point. Not good, not good at all. Okay. Wait. That does not belong here. Camo netting. Okay. I see. Ah, another machine gun. Well. I've got a visual. Static MG. 600 meters northeast. That's definitely not good. Damn it. Are the patrols moving away? Yes, they are. Target acquired. Let's move over through the valley. Come on, guys. Target in sight. Target acquired. Copy my stance. And let's move a little bit faster. Target acquired. I think we can slip in behind this patrol. I don't think they are turning around. So let's make good use of this opportunity and hurry up a little bit. But those strong points, man, that's that's really bad. That is really bad. Hmm. Still, let's hurry. There's strong wind. I'll have to keep that in mind when the shooting starts. Yes, wind does impact your ballistics. You know what I'll do? My man, uh, you will go into these trees here. You'll stand by and I'll move to the hill on my own. I hope that this will increase my chances to stay undetected. 
Take cover. Copy that. Stay low. Yeah. I think this should this should help a bit. Okay, the vehicle is definitely busted. I'll take a short breather before I move up the hill. And just in case, we'll throw in a cheeky safe. There's a body. That looks to be a soldier. Okay. Let's check him out nonetheless. Okay. Here's another one. Just having a look at their weapons, if they have anything special. More bodies here. Over here. Oh. Spartan? Fuck! Where are you? In that direction. Okay, but I don't want to move onto this hill. I would skyline myself, so I'll go and crawl the rest of the way. I think that's healthier for me. Where is he? Where are you? I hear you, man. I hear you. I'm coming. Jesus Christ, how far up are you? Couldn't you have crawled backwards? My God. Would Please. that have been help. so hard? Please help, yeah, I'll get you some help. Please I'll help. teach you something about not being an idiot. Here you are. Uh, now, can I help you without bitch. being shot to pieces by everybody? I honestly don't know. Let's okay. try. This should help. Uh. The ceasefire. They fired first. Forget about it. We need to get out of here. There's yeah, a I agree. I can make it. Now what I'll crawl. Falcon, this is Chimera. Spantan's been ambushed. We got one survivor. Moving to A, uh, small house. On grid 096-170. Over. Enough, we'll with your guy there. Out. Where is he? Is that one of my men? What are you doing up here? No, then, okay, that's the guy moving. Okay. That's where my man saw him. Okay, okay. Got it. I was afraid that one of my men had gotten up on this hill. And was about to get himself killed. Okay, soon I'll be able to stand up again. Task completed, help survivor, awesome. I still have a look at him, maybe he'll tell me something interesting. I think he's in that house. Okay, we are off the hill. These guys were kitted out. Damn it, my stamina is completely ruined because of the crawling. Crawling is exhausting and stamina management plays a very important role, especially since I'm using the Ace mod. And if I look at my gear, I'm hauling around 34 kilograms of gear with me. That's not to be taken lightly, pun intended. If you want to travel far and fast on foot, you better travel light. Okay, I think he's in here. Hey! The... the others. Some of them were captured. Oh! They are alive. You know where they are? No. But I heard some talk about the storage shed. It can't be far from here. 
Okay. They they left on foot. You gotta find them. I okay. Will. Don't worry about them now. Just stay focused and keep pressure on that wound. Exactly. Cool. So we have some survivors. They may be at this location. Okay, good to know. <sighs> These strong points, man. I cannot go directly for it because the strong points would probably tear us to pieces. And I guess the enemy has more patrols in the area, so this is out of the question. I might have to go around. Maybe I'll go up on this mountain here and take a good look at the whole area. You know what? That's actually a good idea. Let me gather my man and we'll move out. Jackal will take care of him. Guys, I'm back. Oh yeah, there's Jekyll already. Good. Okay, guys. Fall back behind me. We are moving out up this mountain. This mountain. And I'll stay in the low ground. Because I really don't want to get detected. Not before I want to be detected. Hit the door. Oh no. Copy my stance. Yeah, there you go. Follow me. Camera, update. We're with the survivor oh. from Spartan. Good. They got to him. Check your map. One zero two oh. dash one seven eight. Oh, okay. He says he saw a couple of med trucks there. Unloading things. Look at that location. My guess is they use them to shift artillery. Oh. Right under our fucking noses. Mm, could be, Falcon. Olympus, we have a lead on a possible mortar threat just outside the arena. Over. Acknowledge, Chimera. Push forward and investigate. Out. If the enemy has mortars, that could be super unpleasant for us. For our assault. So we'll have to go and investigate. Damn, that's a long way. I'll have to... I might have to go and walk around the mountain. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. But I think I'll cut the video here, because there will be a lot of walking involved right now. So, see you soon. Welcome back. I have advanced to a ruined house up here on the mountain. And down there is uh, the hill where we found the survivor. I think this ruin will give me the opportunity to take a good look at the uh, enemy disposition in the town. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is looking good. Let's have a look. Now what do we have here? Hello! 50 cal, technical. Oh crap. Mm, there you are. Survivors from Spartan, that must be them. And I see that some are dead. Shit. They are guarded. Okay. What else can we see from here? There is a vehicle, but I don't think it's a military one. Looks civilian. Uh, that's a strong point. I think I reported that one already. Yes, I did. There's an enemy. Rifleman. 400 meters. Bearing 135. Can we find more, though? There's something. Has that one been reported already? I think so. Yes, that's that one. Static MG, one click, south. There's a patrol. Okay, okay, okay. So far so good. Let me observe this really well. There is our survivor hill. There are those two strong points. There's a technical. Wait, what's that? No, I thought I saw Soldier, something. 600 meters, bearing 120. 
in that direction. Oh, Chimera oh, crap. to Olympus. I've got eyes on hostile IFV near Point Sigma. Over. Good work. Make sure you deal with it ahead of the offensive. Out. Yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, another strong point. Enemy Hello. Southeast. Or did I catch that one already? Did I? I see movement. Strong point, strong point, strong point. Yeah, okay. Static GL. Bearing 105. Oops. Don't want to expose myself too much here. Oh. Oh, hello. Olympus. Another Spotted one. Another infantry fighting vehicle. Over. Mm, okay. Lock the coordinates and take care of it when you're ready. Out. There's more sandbags in the town down there. Okay, enemy southeast of me. Might be something okay, important. Enemy, Command center, maybe. But other than that, other than those things, I don't see anything else right now. There's the patrol moving down there. I have to be careful that they don't, they don't see me up here. But yeah, those armored vehicles, they are a pain in the butt. Definitely. I do have these artillery targets that I can set. And uh, then I think the vehicles might be might be good opportunities for that. Falcon needs Chimera this here. Fire mission. I'm sending you some coordinates. And we will mark Falcon this target. Falcon needs Chimera here. Fire mission. I'm sending you some coordinates. I can mark one more, but I will hold back on that because maybe I want to use it for the mortars when I find them. By the way, maybe I can see where the mortars are from up here. Oh, yeah. Hello. I see enemy to the northeast. There is a mortar. Holy shit. Chimera to Olympus. Sighting. Enemy mortars in our AO. Acknowledge There's Chimera. An enemy. Secure that site. Over. Understood, Olympus. Out. Hmm, now I'm thinking of something. What if I can secure those mortars for myself? Wouldn't that be an amazing thing to do? Oh yes, it would. Oh yes, it would. I would have to move around the mountain here and attack this thing from the backside. But it could work. And if I get control of those mortars, I can use the mortars to blast apart all the strong points. Oh, that's a plan. That's a plan. Let's reunite with my man and I'll move out. We'll put that plan in motion. Oh, there's another enemy patrol in the hills. Hmm, okay. Oh, the enemies, they are not stupid. Yeah, not stupid. They're guarding the area very well. Yeah, we'll have to move around the mountain. So, that will take some time. I'll cut the video here and we'll resume. What? Okay. Um, and we'll resume the video once I'm in a position where we are near the mortars, maybe. See you soon. Return to formation. Copy. Welcome back. I am in a position above the mortar battery. And it is actually a battery. Three mortars and mortar pits. A patrol moving around the area. Uh, there's a truck with a driver in it. And another truck below a camera netting. I've moved up next to me my machine gunner, my sniper and the AT guy. I will leave those guys up here and I myself I'll try to go with the other two guys uh, and to get closer to the battery before we initiate the firefight. As soon as the shit hits the fan these guys are gonna open up and hopefully take out the truck and the mortars. Okay. 
I'm going back. And I'll take the other two guys and I'll go a bit around and try to sneak up onto the whole business there. So the other two guys. Uh five six follow me. Five, six, fall back. Copy that. Target We are trying to get close. I'll make another shortcut here. So we are about to start the assault on the mortar position. My overwatch element is on that mountain. Uh me and my assault element we are moving up towards the position. It's just over this ridge line here. But before I do that, let me actually designate my final target for the artillery strike. Coordinates for those big guns are coming to you, Falcon. Actually, we can I think we can kick it off. Uh okay. get the artillery Shot. strike going. Over. Relaying. Stand by. Which formation? Let's go and get them. I have a rifle grenade loaded. Okay, here's the position. There's the patrol coming out. Behind this tent thing. Hey! Enjoy! Good, got them. Got him. Give them hell for all this and the free republic. Did we get them all? Olympus. Yeah, the motor side is ours. My god, that was effective. Let's move up. Stay in combat formation, guys. This thing is not over. But I think I will m use one of the mortars to uh, get rid of one some of the strong points really quick. So that the main assault can go ahead. Yeah. Uh, let's see, here are some. Oh, big enemy movement down there. Good, 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 good. Let's give him hell. Uh, yeah, the strong points. Okay, let's just hit those. I need ammo. Okay, I think this mortar is out of rounds. Yeah, it is. Never mind. Six. Um, six, get into that mortar, cut Mondays, and I will spot for you. Uh, five, you go up here, we'll make sure that six is covered. Something just exploded. Oh, they saw you. I don't know if I got him or not. Waiting. Did I get him? I don't think I did. We have an enemy sniper moving up. Towards us. And another one. Or somebody else. Got him. Oh my god. Got the sniper. That was a close one. Six is in the mortar. 
Now let's see, do we have enemy concentrations that I can take out? There seems to be still somebody in this position, so six, give it a shell. There is a guy down there, so... Oh. Give him one. Now let's look towards the town. Uh, there's a group of enemies. Give him a shell. Put a shell there. A oh, big group of enemies at that house. Six, bring down another shell onto them. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a very good hit. Oh, another good hit. We are killing them. Okay, somebody's trying to shoot me, but not with great success. Trying to find more enemies. Where are you? Show yourself. I hope that's not one of my APCs. Might very well be there. Oh, there are civilians down there. Okay, I have to be a bit careful then. More soldiers moving towards that house. Didn't learn their lesson. Artillery fire. Close one. What the hell was that? Something just detonated down there. Looks like an APC just started to burn. Enemies over at that crossroads. I, am, I don't know if I should put rounds into the town itself. Okay, those guys are dead. Yeah, there are civilians down there. I cannot do that. I can hit the edge of the town, but I shouldn't hit the town itself. But so far so good. We seem to be thinning their ranks quite a bit. Okay, I'll change position. I'll go over here to this wall. Those guys in the background, those are my guys advancing onto the town. And well, enemy infantry that's shooting at me is not busy shooting at them. So that's a bonus. There are more guys in the town, but I cannot shoot into that. That guy, however, he's more or less outside of the town. Ah, crap. He's on the move. Is he? Is he not? Yeah, you know what? Give him a shell. Now he's moving away. He's moving into those trees. Let's see if we can take him out. But apart from him, him, who else is there? Oh, there's multiple guys, so I will kill somebody with this strike. I hope. More soldiers in the town. But with my eye on... Oh! That hurt. 
with my own guys starting to advance into the town, I cannot simply go ahead and shoot into it. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. Copy, we can see them too. That will be the signal for reinforcement. All teams, better get ready for them. Out. Okay, so the enemy might be bringing in more reinforcements now. Possibly the QIF that the briefing warned us of. Uh, warned us about. I hear engine noises. Tell me they're coming this way. I'm not sure. Never mind then. We'll focus on continuing our fire support for now. Ooh, that guy just got vaporized. By something. My APCs are merciless. Look at this thing go. Just picking the town apart. Poor civilians. Poor, poor civilians. Okay. I'm still secure here, right? Nobody's sneaking up on me? I'm a little bit paranoid. But I don't see any contact, so I guess we are fine. Should I change position back up there? Maybe I can see better from there and identify the last remaining enemy resistance points. Yeah, let's change position. How's the situation looking down there where we have the... Uh, Survivors? Yeah, they are. They seem to be okay. That's good. Now, where are the remaining enemies? It's getting quieter in the town. We might have most of them. But I'm, I'm a bit anxious to move away from here, from the mortars, as long as we have not seen their reinforcements come in. Engine noise. Oh, that's my APC driving. Okay, never mind then. Who are you? You are an enemy. But you are inside the town, and I'd rather not hit you with an artillery shell. Although, now that you are more than one enemy, I'm. Oops. Ah, oh, six is out. Olympus Chimera, come in. Send it. Six. Seems like we get a foothold on the town. Disembark. Okay, Chimera. Stand your ground. Support of Blight and Sand Town. It is important. And get into that mortar. Not retake Orino. Crash their resolve and prevent any counterattack. Out. I hear noises. Yeah, okay. Vehicles. Front. Some kind of vehicle is coming in here. Okay. Six, are you inside the mortar? Waiting. Yes. There is a truck coming. Trucks possibly, or most likely, filled with so Oh, and an APC. But the truck is the prize. Let's make sure that this thing does not get into the town. He's coming up here, huh? Okay. Let's make them disembark. Six. Six. 
fire artillery. Give him. Give him hell. Six. Fire artillery here. Six fire artillery here. Fire artillery here. And that should be the end of that. Arena Sowers, over. Acknowledged. Well done, Chimera. Rearm and reload. Oh no, one guy is still alive. Target down. Man, half a clip. Southeast. Should not have survived that one, however. Or that one. Yeah, there goes the truck. Uh, looks like the reinforcements are kind of dispersed. All over the place. There's one. Oh, gotta exchange my magazine. Are you dead? I don't think you are. Oh, that's it. We won. Oh, awesome. Odino is secure. Rifleman, 400 meters southeast. My god, that was a long mission. Uh, pivotal support, yes, yes, yes. Excellent work, thank you very much. Awesome. We did not rescue the captives, but I think it's implied that they are rescued at this point. Great, we can continue. Okay. We'll continue on to the next mission next week for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode, which I think has showcased some of the strength of armor, that um, the approach to the mission does not have to be linear. I don't think the mission planners had in mind that I take over the mortars and use them to basically wipe out the enemies. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this mission. And until next time. Have some great days and goodbye.